and welcome back to another episode of Modern Sky Black 2 with Wayno. So, um, crap, I strayed after the episode and I stopped and quickly finished the episode off, renamed it so I don't get lost, and started another one and I forgot to get my iron block. So, iron block it is! So, how are you guys anyway? I did not ask that before. Bad me. So, this is going to... Oh, this actually not going to take a little while. And the next one is going to be... No. Uh, that one. Three dark gems. So, I actually need to fill this up quite a few times. Okay, so the dark gems I can just go. Uh, no, I can't. But I will do one too. Uh, I thought you could just put them straight in there. You can, but it only needs a tiny little blood. So maybe until the blood is in there. Yes. So you actually need the blood in there. Ha! Huh. There you go. First of all, first, first of all. First off was that. I'm terrible. As I said, I actually never played this mod pack until in this pack. So... It has been interesting. It seems okay, but I don't know what else you can do with it. So... I'll probably read the book, find out what's in there. Um, but other than that, I don't know. wouldn't have a clue... What you actually do or add to it so there's my three gems so yay for me I should make a crafting table for that spot because I'll probably never use it again but they're always handy to have so we do that and a uh, bowl of empty promises and I think we need bowl of promises which is just blood let's have a quick look at the tenacity yeah bowl of promises strength one and an eye so I think we have everything else so I can just dump all that in there and that would be just shy of 750 so hopefully these guys don't explode This will give me yep that enough to do a bowl of um, oh, empty oh that's right crushed obsidian don't we so we can two gems into that oh look at that just enough gems who would have thought I planned it well guess what I didn't But I know I can't. White men can't throw. Yay! See, this is how bad I am. I'm so bad. I'm awesome. <laughs> You're an idiot, Wayne. Uh, filled bowl of empty promises. Uh, it needs to be a bowl of promise. Okay. So it needs that blood which soon I will be getting there when it's completely automated so once it's all automated we won't have to worry about it we'll just be sitting back and laughing because all the blood will just just drop straight down and into there and then you just sit back and relax now uh, hopefully the tinkers or uh, well not tinkers, the thermal dynamics is updated and actually can detect the right liquids. I don't know if I did anything wrong or not, but I'm pretty sure I didn't, but we'll find that out anyway. So, 
How are we going over here? So it looks like we've burnt through everything. We ended up with just over a stack. Stacking a little bit. So it may not be enough because I want this one to be at least three high so it holds a lot of liquids as well. Because while I'm off doing other things, this will continuously run and give me liquids. This will end up filling up unless I put a the tenacity in there. Once the tenacity in there, it goes to 40,000, I think it was. So... See, there's our first one. And you get the bowl back, which is actually not too bad. So... Now this will give us... I think it's 40,000 for this one. Yeah, 40,000. So that that's plenty. Um... I was actually holding it in a tank, but it's 16,000 for this tank where, it, yeah, so now, while jumping around on thought, again, we'll probably have this, this size, exact size, will be the exact size what the smelter will be, so we could just run around it and then replace the base in a tick, so... Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to turn this off. And take these. So, use can go in here. And if anybody knows why, you will be guessing why I need to do this. So... There we go. 77 seared bricks it should be enough to make a nice smeltery. So uh, we'll keep the ladder up because I can just probably just jump up and bloody daddy da around it. So we'll take these three layers off. Um, I will have to build up there, so it will be like. Uh, I will actually just remove the trash can and this and just here. Uh, oh, where did the one that I just break go? Uh, unless it fell inside. Oh, that'll do. Set there. Oops. Oops. Yep, you explode and kill everybody while I completely stuff up that idea that I just had. Yep, come on, blow up. That's it. Wow, that was bad of me. Holy. Yes, I know you'll heal, but now you won't. Okay, so, um, <laughs> I royally just stuffed it there. Oh, at least I got a 8.2 out of it. I, um, <laughs> only meant to have one of them broken, but they seem to just... Ah, <sighs> yeah, I wonder if I could pick this up without stuffing it. Yeah, that's not too bad, not too bad. So... Ah, that was funny. All the fun times with me. Come play, they said. Fun, they will be, they said. And then you stuff up and then kill everybody. That's always good. So, I'm not going to open it up for spiders and whatnot under it because that will be very bad. That will generally clog it up. Um, um, I don't know why I put that there. That's really weird. I don't, I don't know why. But there, 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 um, there. Uh, that will be the. I 
I didn't finish that sentence off because I just remembered I've got to do this. Um, it is actually quite difficult to live stream and keep a conversation rolling. You think it would be easy, but you're talking to yourself essentially. So people probably think I'm crazy in my household. They're like, he's talking to himself again. So I can actually put this back in the 37 back in there to hopefully smelt him back down. So yeah, see, I can. So I will do that. If I need to make it higher, I will, but these are going to be three seed bricks, controller, and smeltery option. I will move the other smeltery actually over to here now. Uh, well, not now, but eventually. Um, so this one can, this setup here can run both. Oh well, goodbye. Um, I will need four gold, no, two gold, isn't it? Um, I don't know what I'm doing. That's one gold there. I'll just take one of them. Hopefully I have two gold here. <laughs> Hopefully. And I will put you first and then I will take you two out. Put you back in. Now this will actually give me a heap more seared bricks so I could actually... Well I need more of them anyway because I need to make a obsidian, obsidian generator. Uh, eventually which I can do that by attaching a pump over that area which is already is so I just need to get some more piping to it and set it up to bucket in on, on one each uh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll show you anyway so if you don't know what it looks like um, fairly easy to make so and there is what I'm after now I will just move these two straight over because this will take a while so you can go there you can go there and that is an item duct but it needs to be one more so we do this 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 and this. Bam! Look at that. Sweetums. So now this will just constantly pump out these for me because I need them. Um, everything is just be piling up into that sector at the moment. The 23 over that way somewhere. So that's fine. So there's currently nothing over there. Let's just make sure that this is still running. Because I'll probably want to get it turned off eventually. Yeah, see, that's already nearly finished. So. Oh, I should have taken the elevator. And these two up, them two up, and that. So we grab that down there, that to there. Make 64 of these. Well, more than 64. Comes out at three stacks. Ish. Whack that in there, and the other one there. And that runs, we go doink. So, and hopefully, I oh know we need more of this too, don't we? So, no cows or anything spawned here yet, unless they've spawned and fallen off, which wouldn't surprise me. Or any furry animal. It's just like spawn and die. Like my life has existence and I'm dead. Okay, so there and uh, didn't I have no Okay, so that's a nice pent area. Hopefully something will spawn. I don't know if it has to be dark or not, I cannot honestly remember, but I have had... Oh, we're out! Oh! Oh, first, first lot gone. We'll have to make some more. Um, but I have made just a grassy area and they've just started spawning on them, so, and it was smaller than this. So, we'll see. Oh, yeah. Wow, something froze. Uh, 
do we have enough perfect amount so there we go we have a fully penned off area it should hopefully spawn some cows eventually um, anything else will go into the um, actually I will just process these so I mean it's not going to hurt anyone but we'll just fill this up and hopefully That in there, so we actually have quite a bit of um, dirt left over in there. So it has finished its full size. There's nothing left in there because it's all went in there. There's lots of them, lots of them. So once that fills up and blocks, I'm not going to unblock it. It will just idle away. I don't know if it matters or not. So I know this is too many, but it will give us a first off there we go so that will eventually fill all that up I actually haven't tested the auto stopping on it yet so this can go back in here this can go in here I will keep actually yeah I'll just do that so hopefully I can feed an apple to a dude will eventually have its own area. This was for holding blood but it was the incorrect blood. I'll just whack this in here. We are at 60 of the Richter scale. Uh, I do have some glass. I want to make Three windows. One seared tank and one faucet and one smeltery controller. Okay, so we'll quickly run over here. I completely forgot about the faucet. Okay, so we go here, not the faucet, that. See the brick goes there. Window. Pick that torch up. The torch goes there. And now it is a valid controller with quite a few slots. They will basically go straight into there. They will not die. So that's what we want to see. They will die from being bled out. Uh, item dart and one of them. Oh, we don't actually need one of them, we just need the duct, don't we? And back to you. And then we steal this. As I've worked out that this uses quite a bit of them to produce lava and as much as I want it to I don't want to waste all the drops in here so this will keep this plenished for a while um, I actually don't have any cobblestone to jump up there nor any liquids for the other one I will use a harden, so I will grab one of them and one of them and two of them. This will upgrade it to the harden. And what else was it? Um, I don't know. Oh, that's right, cobblestone. So let's grab a stack. It's funny, I make the AA and I actually haven't even touched it yet. The atomic re uh, not the atomic reconstructor. Yeah, that. So, let's break that and watch them all fall in there. And they can see through that, I think. Oh, there we go. We got some blood from one of them dropping. But we'll take that out. 
And there we go. And then there's all that stuff in there that needs to be collected. So... And then we go, you out, you out, with this. Now, I don't know if... Should work. Okay, so I've got a bucket. So it faces the other way that you put it. So Now the problem is, let's put one of you in, because if this actually gets pulled out by this, then I won't be able to pull anything else out. I'm hoping this actually blood clay, I don't know how to tell this to be, uh, I think it's ignoring VT and I want it whitelisted. So, wait till this finishes, once this cooked up and can hurt them, they should all die in there. I will get the Ranger Collector and probably just put it here with some power to it. I just picked up all the junk. So, let's just throw some of this out. So then that will hopefully um, kill them off without the seed being pulled out. But unfortunately, this seed did get pulled out instantly. So, as you can see, there's nothing in there. Which saddens me, because I don't know why this, why the seed is getting pulled out. So, I'll make another duct, and I will bring another one of these. I'll actually, no. Uh, yeah, that should be alright. Um need another servo though. So, one nugget. Oh, I guess I'll have to just go with that. I've got glass. I'll need actually two more of them. And then go one there, one there. Servo. Because we don't actually want it pulled out really, really, really quickly. Um, we want it pulled out as slow as possible. So, This is the only way that I managed to work it out. As you can hear them every now and then. Oh, mate, I've got to make the. See, I should have made a crafting table for that area. Um, every now and then you'll get one that does that. It'll just drop and will die from it. And that will give you the ability to kill everything in there. But the problem is, you can't remove any of it this and then you do this and I brought the wrong one. Uh, so we need uh, one of you, two of you and one of you and this will give me what I need. I don't know how I grabbed the wrong one. They all look the same. Like look at that. It's tiny difference in colour. I should have looked at the colour, ah, uh, the naming. But anyway, this hopefully will push the seared uh, brick back into it. Yeah, as you can see, it's it's doing it. So I add a little bit of seared brick, and then eventually it will fill up and cycle it in and out properly. So, uh, currently it's got three ingots in there, that's why. But 
but you do this and see it quickly flicks over then this will eventually fill up see see so this is this is my idea um, until I can actually work out why it doesn't accept that um, that's probably the only way that I know how to do it so well there you go then we are going to get tons of blood from this eventually I pr probably end up making this quite high so instead of only having 31 buckets capacity which is quite you know we'll fill that up nearly um, yeah I don't know why it puts it back in. It shouldn't. So I think part goes that way, and then part goes that way. Um. Yeah. Honestly, don't know. The other one, it was actually longer, so it went out, and then I think it was about five blocks long, and then came out, and then right at the top, it came across. Might try that because it should hopefully take this route first, then exit. But we'll find out now, won't we? There's 19 millibuckets there. Yeah, see, only 11 came back. So it is going. Some is going this way, and some is going this way. So yeah, I don't know how. Well, I could probably f put a tank here and uh, come across at the top here into two different tanks, one blood, one seared. But you'll probably need a filter for that. But as I said, I don't know why this isn't working. It should technically work with the bucket. So... Yeah, we'll have to work that out. But there we go, the blood um, thing is up and running. And they will fall down there since I'm further away now. Um, or more will spawn, sorry. Um, and we still don't have anything over here. Which is a shame. So, it is nearly wrapping up point, And it has saddened me, because after this I'm going to go to bed, because I had a very long day. Very long day, indeed. So, this is all full. So, this is good. So... We can actually make uh, blood orbs now. Well, uh, not blood orbs. Uh, yes, sorry, blood orbs. We can actually go ahead and make blood orbs now because they require... I don't even know how much they require per orb, actually. So let's have a quick look. Uh, it requires 3,500 per blood orb to be used. So... See, there's quite a few things in there that actually get dropped, which I still want. So, uh, we'll see if the range collector will run off of just one of the, um, water wheels. If not, I may add another one, another set of three, or I will actually make a big reactor or something. But I know I'll need quite a few, so put you there doesn't matter what I pick up so except I might add the blacklisting of items because I can actually just pipe them all in and out um, where is it see that is quite far away so um, how much energy does that use per Per operation, does that actually say? Doesn't actually say how much energy it uses per operation. Hmm. So I'm gonna might read up on actually see how much it is. Uh, see how much per operation actually it takes to run and it's only six blocks wide so if I count so one two three four so it will probably get all that in there because there'll be one two three and four so yeah so that will be alright 
and then I'll add a whitelist to our blacklist the tr uh, saplings from being picked up. Actually that wouldn't reach so because it should reach right to the end of the trees so one two three four five six right on the edge but if there's one that drops down it will catch it so and then from there I'll probably have it just get extracted into a heap of boxes because I need to start actually storing a lot more of these so we got one block it so and it currently See, I don't understand that it. Yeah, I'll just wait until we have like 30 buckets or something like that, and then we can process through it. So, but anyway, this is it for this episode. Um, probably next episode will be more on blood and Tinker's blood because we need to work that out. And there we go. We actually have um animals. So, uh, I will quickly just kill off an animal, so we can get this book. So you need to, uh, you can do it either by killing mobs or having a blood extractor, no, not the right one. Here we go, information about feed an animal a dark anim uh, dark ended apple and throw a book at it. Dark ended apple and throw a book at it. Okay, so we'll just do this. Uh, I don't know if I have to kill it or not. And there we go. That was easy as pie. So, that should disappear. Yep, there we go. So we have a pig and two chickens. So that's not too bad. We can make eggs now. I can actually probably start on making the kitchen. But we do have the book now, which... I already knew most of the first part anyway, so glory to the fabulous Demon King. I don't know. That'll do. But anyway, that is the end of the episode, so thank you very much for watching. Give me a like, uh, a subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, I don't know, tell me what I've done wrong, tell me I suck. Either way, at least leave a comment. Um, if not, yeah, you have fun. Later.